Unity includes a pretty powerful animation tool that you can use to animate almost anything inside of your scene. And we're going to go ahead and take advantage of it to add a little bit more mood and atmosphere to our scene. So if we have a look at this scene right now, it looks like this old, decrepit, sort of dilapidated warehouse. And what we want to do is add more mood to it using the animation tool. We can actually use that tool to animate the lighting in our scene and uh, just make it look a little bit more interactive and just a bit more interesting than uh, the way it looks right now, which is a little bit too static. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to go over here to this spotlight that's on this end of the warehouse. I'm going to select the spotlight. Make sure it's the spotlight, not the point light. What we can do is we can use the animation tool to animate um, most of the components or most of the parameters in this light component over here in the inspector. Okay. So to use it, it's pretty simple. Select the object that you wish to place some animation on and go up to the window menu and select the animation window. That's going to pop open this animation window and this gives you a lot of control inside of Unity and animation. So when you have the object selected and you open the animation window, you'll see the object loaded up right here and a whole bunch of parameters pop up over here. These are all parameters that can be animated within Unity. Okay, So we can actually create animation Unity using this tool. So let me show you the quick workflow of how it works. Select the object, load it up into the animation window and the first thing we need to do is create an animation clip. We can't animate without having an animation clip created. Right now by default this object does not have any animation clip so we'll have to create a brand new one from scratch and that's actually pretty easy to do and there's about three or four different ways that we can do this. You can come up here to this little blank area of the interface right here of the light map of the uh, animation window and click right there and you get this little menu option to create a new clip. Okay, I want to animate the intensity of this because that's what's going to control the light going on and off, blinking sort of like the power is fluctuating in this warehouse and it's not too stable. So I can click on this and then click on Add Curve. Once I do that, Unity is going to ask me to give this animation file a name. And you notice that the extension is Anim, A-N-I-M, stands for animation. And what we want to do is give this uh, sort of a name that we can recognize. So I'm going to call this Blinking light. That's just what I'm going to call it. I'm going to hit save. And you notice over here in the project view we have this blinking light file right here. Okay, That's the animation file or the animation clip file. And you notice that now under intensity we have this little blue animation keyframe icon letting us know that we have animation on that. We'll see also over here in the animation window we have this time slider which is in red and we have this blue animation keyframe right there for the first frame of the animation. You also notice that the little record button up here that's red is turned on. So the way to use this is actually very, very simple. We'll move the uh, time slider here forward a bit and you can move it wherever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over to about 10 right here. Let me see. I'll just move it here and probably just start animating right there. So let me move this down here maybe somewhere where it doesn't bother us too much. And what you can do now is with that record button on you can start to move this intensity slider in the inspector. So if I want to make the light dimmer, I can. And you can see in the viewport, in the scene viewport over here, how it's getting dimmer. And another thing you can do to help you out here is change the layout. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to change my layout to a tall view. You can see that with the tall view it's going to be a lot easier to work with this, at least in my opinion. So I'm going to, with the object still selected, let's reopen that animation window. And let's go over here to the animation. I'm going to hit record. I'm going to take this uh, second frame right there, select it and delete it. So we can see in the viewport as we change the intensity over here, the light gets dimmer. Then we can move this over here and maybe the light gets brighter. So basically kind of like the power is fluctuating inside this warehouse. So the light goes kind of, it gets dim and then it brightens, then it gets kind of in the middle, then maybe it drops again and really gets dark, almost turns off then maybe it really shoots up, it gets like a power surge and it really brightens up then it gets dim again so you can animate this as much or as little as you want Okay, um, you can hit F on the keyboard to frame in on the animation curve right there so we can see it a little bit closer we can see how it goes, the power fluctuation goes down then shoots back up, drops down really low, kinda tries to come up, goes down a little bit really shoots really high at its highest point right here on this key then it drops again and it goes back up. So once this is done, you can hit play right here. We can see it in the scene viewport. We can see it loop over and over again. 
and we can see that the light looks really cool. That actually looks a lot more realistic and it just adds a little bit of depth and some atmosphere to our scene. So let me stop that from playing. So what I can do now is I can apply this animation clip to other lights. It's already saved in my project uh, folder so we're good to go here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one final thing here and let me close this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, ahead and hit play. I'm going to come into my scene here and I'm going to just play test this real quick. You'll notice that the light is not blinking. Okay, It kind of blinked at the beginning and then it stopped. If I replay this you'll notice. See how the light's blinking in the background and then it stops. Okay. So obviously the animation's working, but it just loops one time and then it stops. The way you can control this is pretty easy. With the light selected, let's go back to the animation window. And here's the animation. Um, the way that you can control this is down here where it says default. Go ahead and click on that. By default, it's set to play the animation one time and then that's it, it stops. So what I want to do is I want to set it to a loop. I can also set it to ping pong, which is kind of like a reverse loop. So I'm going to go with maybe a loop and then I'm going to hit close and then I'm going to play test this again and the problem should be solved. You can see the lights blinking in the background and as I come over here the light never finishes uh, going on and off. It just continues doing that which looks pretty cool and makes it loop over and over and over forever. Perfect. Okay. The last problem is that when I look up at the light fixture even though the light's blinking on and off the second light, the little point light that I created to light up the inside of the light fixture is not uh, using the animation so it looks kinda weird so to fix that's actually pretty easy I'll select the little point light right there and if I look at my project folder there's my blinking light animation clip it looks like a little sheet of paper with a little clock okay what I can do is I can click and drag that asset and drop it on top of the point light that I have right now once I do that I should be good to go so let me jump into my scene here and test this out now when I look up at the light fixture you can see that both lights, the point light and the spotlight have the same animation which means that they're consistent. See that? So they're perfectly synchronized and obviously that looks a lot better than what we had before. Okay, perfect. Alright, so that pretty much does it for animation. Now let me come over to this light over here. I don't know if you've noticed this before but there is a problem with this light. If I select the spotlight up there, okay, you notice that down here underneath the catwalk there's a little bit of light bleeding that's actually not normal that shouldn't be there in real life that probably wouldn't be happening and I mean it's a small detail most people probably won't notice it when they play your game um, but uh, but it's a little detail that we can fix pretty easily so let me show you how this works if you're having a problem with light bleeding like that sometimes it can be caused by the light bias setting so if we go over to the inspector for this light we'll notice there's a bias setting right here by default it's usually set at 0 0.05 which could be a little bit too high in some cases normally you should leave that alone but if you have a problem like this we can lower it so you don't want to take the light bias and set it to zero you notice how when I tune down the light bias it looks like the light gets fixed if I have it at zero I'm gonna end up with some artifacts if I look up over here see when I look at this area of the catwalk see how there's that strange shadow artifact right there and as I move the camera around a little bit you can see like the shadows kind of uh, has these weird artifacts where it blinks on and off. Just tune up the bias a little bit. As long as it's not zero, it should be okay. And now as I look around, that problem is gone. And if I look underneath the catwalk, I no longer have that nasty light bleeding. So I'm going to end this video here off camera. I think I'm going to play around with this light over here on this side of the warehouse and do a little bit of animation right there, see what I can come up with. I'm going to end this video here. And in the next one, we're, we're going to go ahead and start talking about optimization, which is one of the most important things to cover in this tutorial.